Step 17.9 is all about editing the worksheet data. So sometimes when you enter data into a worksheet, um, you have to reorganize or edit the data. And you can do so by clearing, replacing, or copying the existing data into your spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and get started. You should be in Cruise 5. If not, go ahead and open it. And let's go to File, Save As. And we will save Cruise 5 as Cruise 6. All right. So click in cell A6. Notice the contents in A6 shows 14. Press the delete key on your keyboard to remove the contents. With cell A6 still selected, enter 10 and press enter. If necessary, click on the home tab. Click cell A6. And click the delete cells button arrow. And notice you should get a dialog box that gives you options to delete the cells. There are four options. You would like to click the shift cells up. And notice what happens to the text once we press OK. So when you shifted the cells up, notice it deleted the 10 from cell A6 and all of the data under A6 shifted up. It did not affect the remaining columns of data in your spreadsheet, only the cell in row A. And it shifted all of your data up. And notice cell A8 is now empty. So cell, cell A6 should be your active cell. With cell A6 still selected, click Insert Cells in your cells group. And this time we will select Insert Cells and you get an insert dialog box with four options. You want to select shift cells down. And notice again that cell A6 is now empty because your data was shifted down. In cell A6, enter 14 and press enter. Click cell D4 and in the clipboard group click copy and notice that when you click copy Caribbean has a marquee that lets you know you have copied the contents in this cell. Click cell D9 and in the clipboard group, click paste. The data is now copied to cell A9. The marquee still appears around cell D4 because you can still paste the copied data in other locations. To remove the marquee, simply press your escape key on your keyboard. Click cell B1. The cell currently shows depart. In the clipboard group, click the cut button. And just like the copy button, when you click cut, it also places a marquee around the border, the cell border of the text that you would like to cut. Click cell E1 and Select Paste, and notice that because we cut our text from cell B1 and pasted it to E1, column B is now empty. 
All right, so click column D heading to select the entire column and click your cut button. Select column B heading and paste your contents. Now notice that our contents from column D has been moved to column B and it also maintains your format to auto fit your text for column B. Select rows 4 and 5. Click the insert button arrow. and click insert sheet rows then select rows 9 and 10 click the cut button click cell A4 click the paste button So we've replaced the data that was in 9 and 10 and moved it to rows 4 and 5. So we just went through a series of clearing contents in our cells as well as cut and pasting data within columns and rows and copying and pasting data within columns and rows. Just like you guys learned and with working with tables in Microsoft Office, the same is true in reorganizing and rearranging data within um, cells in Microsoft Excel. Go ahead and save this step and I will see you on the next step.